I kind of have like EDI leftovers for you guys. Like I have little pieces, like I picked up Famous from the airport with Jess the other day and I got a new drone. Little bits and pieces, but not really like full stories. So I thought I'd just kind of smash that all into this episode, make it work that way. Good idea, bad idea, let's do it. Do you guys remember uh, Jumanji and Prince and Farah? That first small mare that was like the most beautiful horse you've ever seen in your whole life. Her new owner sent me this package. Maybe it'd be better if I had a knife. This is my car key. When they made the car keys all modern like this, where it doesn't have like edges, they don't work as well as... Oh my god! Oh you guys have no idea how excited I am. The new drone. I love drones. This channel is about to get a lot better. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat So I was thinking about it the other day, I was like, I kind of miss vlogging. For those of you that don't know what vlogging is, vlogging is like this in a way, like me kind of self-documenting my day, telling my story. Maybe not all of my day, but at least a piece of it. And I liked that like kind of daily process of that. It's a ton of work but I missed it. So we're gonna get back to some of that on this channel, just cause it's fun. This horse, this horse's name is Finch and he is an EDI horse, but he's actually now owned by a client. I get to keep him here for a little bit at least until he's ready to go home. I'm trying to qualify him for Chicago. So in Chicago, we have our national championships. You wanna go there, Finchy? Probably time to clean my boots. <laughs> um, I think sometimes people are afraid to buy young horses and I think there's an advantage to buying young horses and also an advantage to buying older horses but there's definitely a time and place. Oh, spooky. There's definitely a time and place to buy something 
a little bit younger and develop it yourself or have a trainer develop it. Then you can really control like the training that goes into that horse and the care that goes into that horse and that is really done properly. And sometimes in the end you can end up with something that is better quality, has better training, is more what you're looking for. It's just an investment of time. I think that's important to touch on with EDI because there's a reason why we try to go young and that is we want the best quality. We want really good quality horses and to get that quality without uh, spending insane amounts of money, uh, you have to go young enough and then you end up with horses that really have potential for making it all the way. Right, Finchy? Good buddy. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Ready? Yeah. Let's roll. Let's roll. He was born in July, so his birthday is in a month. Exactly. Oh yeah? July 28th. Is this the passport? Yeah, July 28th. Let me see. That is a nice bloodline. Finest. Florian, which is Floristan, and then Sandra on this side, and Rubenstein. Right, yeah. Just how I like them. Hi, buddy. Mr. Famous. Ready to go home? Amazing how forgiving they are that you can stick them on an airplane, and they really do. They really do pretty amazing. Right, Damus? You and your forelock. I think it's funny when they chop the forelock like this. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> forelock hairstyles. The bangs. 